Hey, what is up guys, Zach here, welcome to a new type of video. So today, uh, it is Friday, and uh, I was thinking Fridays are pretty relaxed and chill days, so I thought uh, maybe every Friday I should do uh, kind of like a talking video, or like a commentary, or a story, or uh, just something where uh, I sit here and uh, I talk to you guys, and uh, you guys get to know a little bit more about me, and uh, it should be pretty fun. So today, I'm deciding to tell you guys a story, uh, but before we get into that, what you see now on your screen um, is not live, this is actually some footage of me playing on a uh, prime MC earlier today so if you'd like to join the server the IP is on your screen now I am playing in the prison world but they have some other worlds that you can check out and they're actually running a 50% off sale right now if you're interested in donating I am using a uh, donator kit in this video so anyways today I'm going to be telling you about a story of the time I made everybody in the first grade hate me and a miniature war that I started with the first graders now this is a long time ago. Uh, this story takes place uh, back um, when I was in third grade. So it was about seven years ago. So I'd say about 2007, 2008, around that time, that school year anyways. And um, it's a pretty interesting story. So I got to start from the beginning though. It all started uh, one recess. So uh, you guys may not know this about me, but um, I'm not like a huge sports guy. I mean, I used to play baseball and um, I used to, I mean, I'm not like super unathletic, but I don't really play that many sports. So every recess, uh, when all the sports kids would be playing football or soccer or basketball, I never really fit into that group, so I wouldn't really play sports with them. Now, um, what I did like, though, well, I was, uh, I was a boy. I was a pretty typical boy, so I liked bugs, and um, a bug in particular that I found really interesting uh, were roly-polies. Now, this was in Colorado, and I lived on the side of a mountain in uh, Colorado Springs on uh, Cheyenne Mountains, and... Um, there were a lot of bugs. Um, there were a lot of roly polies. If you don't know what a roly poly is, you can uh, look up a picture. Basically, they're like the little bugs that can roll up into like sheltered, um, like they're kind of like turtles, but they roll up into like balls and they can uh, roll around. Well, they don't really roll around, but yeah, just look up. Hopefully, you know what roly polies are. But anyways, um, so I was bored, and me and my friend went to look around the field uh, at our uh, recess playground area. It was pretty big. And uh, we found some roly polies, so we're like, hey, roly polies. So we picked them up, obviously, got all dirty being the little boys that we were. And um, I, I, we found these bugs, and we didn't know what to do with them, so we decided to make them little houses out of rocks. But there were no rocks uh, in the area, so we actually had to go up to the path that led down to the field, and we had to take the rocks off the path and bring them to a dirt area in the field where no one really played any sports. And we, uh, we built up, like, these walls, almost. They were, like, borders. And we made little rooms, and we put our roly-polies in there. And we put, um, we put leaves in there. We made walls. We, they had, like, little beds. Uh, we put some water in there from, uh, water bottles. And, um, really, it was fun. We made, like, houses for them, almost. And, um, some people saw us doing this, and eventually a lot more people in the, in the, uh, third grade started to join. Now, um, this was mostly boys, a couple of girls, but by a lot of people, I mean, like, I don't know, 15 or 16 out of the 50 kids that were in my, uh, third grade class back in, uh, 2008. So, uh, yeah, we had this group together, and more and more people were joining, and uh, as it turned out, I ended up becoming, like, the leader of the group. Now, uh, this seems pretty obvious because I was the one who started it, and I wasn't really much of a leader. I was a shy kid, but, uh, still, I was the leader, so, uh, we made this little group. And, uh, everyone actually had, like, assigned jobs, and it was, like, a miniature business, but it was really fun. So we had, uh, we had, like, people who would collect the bugs, we had people who would build the houses, we had people who would plan the houses, and, uh, plan where to find the bugs, and, like, where we've already found bugs, so, like, where to look again. And, uh, it was fun, uh, we actually started planning these things outside of recess, like, uh, during class and stuff. And, uh, yeah, this whole time I was the leader, but one recess, unfortunately, we found that all of the rocks and houses we had built were gone, and we were so confused, us third graders were like, what happened? And I don't exactly remember how, but, um, somehow I figured out that the first graders have been taking all of our rocks and using them for their webkins and building their webkins houses during recess. Now, obviously, this outraged me and all of the third graders because we're like, hey, those are our rocks. We've been using them for our roly polies. And uh, the first graders, uh, we confronted them every now and then, but we didn't really have a recess with them, so we didn't usually, like, see them around. But, um,. We, yeah, we were mad, and uh, this actually ended up sparking, like, a miniature war. So, uh, every recess, we would go to the stuff they built for their webkins while they were inside in class or lunch. We would take their rocks, and we would bring them back to our roly-poly place. 
and we would rebuild our roly poly stuff and we put our roly polies there we put little signs like do not touch and like pieces of paper because we didn't want the first graders taking our freaking rocks and that's pretty much it but every recess we went back out we saw our rocks were missing and they were in a new place for their webkins and we were we were pretty upset so every recess we'd have to either get more rocks or steal their rocks and uh, we did a little bit of both until one day um, a teacher noticed that uh, there were rocks missing from the paths now this was like really obvious I don't know how they didn't figure it out earlier because this went on for like three weeks before a teacher finally pointed out that all the rocks were missing from the path down to the field so uh, they learned, uh, somehow, they eventually learned of all of the activities and how the third graders and the first graders have been stealing each other's rocks. They pulled some kids aside to talk about them. Uh, I was never one of those kids, though. I guess no one ratted me out. And um, they learned about the miniature war. So one day, there was a surprise recess. Now, uh, all of us third graders, we walked out, being third graders, thinking, hey, we have an extra recess. But unfortunately, we saw that all the first graders were already out there sitting on the pavement uh, with their first grade teacher, and they all looked pretty upset and guilty. And we didn't know exactly what was going on, but we all thought that we were in big trouble because we never had these outdoor extra recesses with other grades. And uh, I was the leader, so uh, I was I, I had my suspicions that this was about the rocks, and I was uh, I was the most nervous. I was really nervous. This was probably up until this point in my life, I'd never been this nervous. I was shaking. I was scared. I've never been in trouble before up until this point, and um, I was really nervous. So the teachers got together. We all had to sit down with the first graders, and uh, we had to talk about how we shouldn't be using those rocks because they were placed there for the school, and uh, we. Uh, we didn't get in as much trouble as I first suspected. Um, I don't think they ever found out that I was the leader, but basically, um, the teachers were just like, you're not allowed to use those rocks, they're not for you to play with, they're for the path that the school placed. So, um, they told us that nobody would get in trouble if we fixed everything and put the rocks back. So, uh, being us cool, cocky third graders, we made all of the first graders put the, uh, rocks back where we found them in the path, and... Yeah, all the first graders helped, and um, I just knew that I hated all the first graders at that point, because that pretty much ended our little uh, roly-poly collecting group, and uh, all the first graders and the third graders were basically at war, and uh, even some third graders were mad at me that weren't involved because um, they kind of got in trouble, but not really. So, um, yeah, that was the first time I was really nervous about something, and afterwards, I was, like, in denial that I did anything wrong. Like, oh, it was the first graders. If they never came in, we'd still be having fun. We'd still have roly-polies. We wouldn't have had to take all the rocks from the path because of them. So I was in denial. I was telling all my friends, like, oh, man, I hate those first graders. I can't believe. And, like, when I was in third grade, like, I don't know, I thought... I thought the difference between third and first grade was, like, huge, but now that I look back, uh, it's not, I, we weren't really that different, and, um, yeah, so that is the time that I got every single first grader to pretty much hate me, because they all got together with their webkins at recess, and we would steal their rocks, because we had them first, and I still think to this day that we are right, but anyways, uh, that is the time that I started a, uh, little miniature war between the third graders and first graders at my Cheyenne Mountain School, uh, since then, I have moved away, though, so I do not know how any of those kids are doing. I no longer live in Colorado, but, uh, yeah, that is the story. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, I was thinking every Friday we could have, like, a little talking thing where I can talk about a topic, or I can tell you guys a story, or I can, um, I don't know, just any type of commentary thing, you know, where I can talk to you guys, and, uh, you can tell me what you think, or you can suggest topics, or you can suggest, like, story ideas, or, like, types of, types of stories, I mean, and, uh, I'll try to, um, make one of these videos every Friday, and it should be pretty chillaxed and fun. So, anyways, guys, if you would like to see this, uh, little series continued, or you have any ideas for what you'd like to hear me talk about, make sure you leave a comment so I know, and, uh, leave a thumbs up. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this little story, please leave a thumbs up. Go check out the server that I was playing on today. IP is in the description. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.